I'm Jamie Costello with your WMAR2 News Update. We want to make sure that you're up to date on the latest coronavirus numbers in our state. The positivity rate statewide is down, hovering just above 3.5%. Now, some of our biggest counties are even lower than that. Baltimore County is just under 3.5%. The city is really low, just above 2.5%. Anne Arundel County, though, has some work to do. They're just above 4%. And one more Marylander has died because of the virus. It brings the total killed now to 3,696. Well, Maryland's election board has a heads up for you. They say the United States Postal Service sent out vote by mail information on a postcard to some living here in the state. They want to warn you that the information on that postcard is completely wrong. They say the advice on the card, such as when to request a mail-in ballot, does not mesh with what the state would like you to do. So here are the right details. If you want a mail-in ballot, request one now. You have to get your request into your local Board of Elections by October the 20th. But the longer you wait, the more potential delays could impact your right to vote. You can request a ballot online or submit a request through the mail. The Board of Elections also says if you ask a mail-in ballot to be sent to you, it's free to mail it back. You will not have to pay any post postage on that. Now, if you ask for one to be emailed, you will have to pay for postage. We're going to get a sunny start to the day tomorrow, but we are tracking some cooler numbers. We'll wake up to numbers in the low 50s, but we'll quickly warm into the 60s by the time you're heading to work. With sunshine dominating the forecast, temperatures will warm to the lower 70s. We'll be at 72 degrees by the time you're on your way back from lunch. Heading into the 60s as we head into the evening. Daytime highs warm to 73 degrees at the harbor. 70 in Stevensville, 71 over in Bel Air. And the seven-day forecast shows the numbers. Well, they're warming into the upper 70s through Thursday, where we'll see clouds build and Rain chances start to trickle in. Friday looks a little damp, but we're dry and cooler as we head into the weekend. All right, Patrick, click with us online at WMAR2news.com all day for updates on top stories and breaking news. Also for news and weather while you're out there on the go, download the WMAR2 News app in the App Store. You can watch live radar and get breaking news sent right to your phone. Thanks for watching. I'm Jamie Costello. This WMAR2 News update is sponsored by Jones Junction.